This is a man-made flint made over in Austria. It's made by a company that's been building them for over 100 years, and it's about 2 and 5 eighths inches long and about 3 sixteenths of an inch thick or in diameter. Now, it throws sparks like no flint you ever saw in your whole life. Just use a hacksaw blade. Watch this right here. See those sparks? Now, you use magnesium to start a fire. Just scrape a little bit of magnesium off there. I'd already scraped some off earlier. But anyway, let's see if we can start a fire with that. All right, that's a cotton ball, and I just put some Vaseline on it so I can have a fire that will last until I can get some kindling on it. Anyway, you can carry cotton balls in one of these film canisters. It'll stay dry, and it doesn't weigh anything. You can put it in your backpack. Anyway, you can see how long that fire lasts. Yeah, that's a good fire. But anyway, we're gonna put we can put some kindling on it and make a big fire. But you can always have a fire if you have one of those flints and a little bit of magnesium. And you can start one without the Vaseline. It just makes it last longer, so you can put some kindling on it. it makes a fine fire. But just a little now. The Chinese make one look just like that, and I haven't been able to do any good with the Chinese ones, but this one's made over in Austria. Like I say, they've been building for over 100 years over there, and this is a good one. It really throws sparks. Sometimes you get one that'll throw sparks out six or eight foot. That one didn't throw it that far, but it threw it plenty far to get that fire started. But just a little bit of magnesium. That's a piece of magnesium right there. And by the way, the magnesium... I sell is made in good old USA. But, gotta let fire last a long time now. I sell these flints with a satisfaction guarantee. If you ever buy any and you don't like them for any reason, you send them back. I'll refund your money, no problem. Boy, that fire lasts a long time, doesn't it? You get a big fire going by now.